What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to change the resolution of a video project in DaVinci Resolve 16.1. The timeline in my DaVinci Resolve edit window comprises of one clip featuring Bobby the dog. If at any time you wish to change the number of pixels that make up the width and the height of your video project in DaVinci Resolve, left click on the project settings icon which you can find in the bottom right corner of your DaVinci Resolve window. Under master settings the timeline resolution will appear. An option can be selected from the top box by left clicking on the arrow and selecting the resolution that you want your whole video project on your timeline to be. A custom option is also available if you wish to change the width and the height yourselves by left clicking and typing your own width and height for your resolution. The box on the left contains the number of pixels which make up the width of the video frame for your timeline and the box on the right makes up the number of pixels in the video frame's height for your timeline. If I were to go back to the default resolution you can also see a section next to 4 where you can enter the number of pixels to be processed for a final size for your video. If I change the first number which represents the width to 20 and then the next box to 10 which represents the height of the video and left click on save Note that despite my zoom setting remaining the same as it was in the previous video project preview at 25%, the actual video project that will be processed into a final visual medium is much smaller. To set a resolution for your final video project that you wish to export as an mp4 file for example, go to the deliver window and under any render setting option such as custom for example, choose the resolution that you wish for your video project to be in. Once you are satisfied with the size of your video, go to add to render queue and save your file with an appropriate name before clicking to start render. What if the resolution that you choose in the render settings is different to the resolution that you chose on your timeline in the edit window? I'm going to return to the edit window. On the timeline in edit is a conventionally sized video. If I left click on project settings, the resolution for my timeline currently is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to cut down the size of this particular timeline resolution to a tenth. So 1920 will be changed to 192 and 1080 will be changed to 108. Left click on save. On the video preview the frame appears much smaller. Go to deliver. Underneath render settings, video, I'm going to choose to export this file as an mp4 and below the setting for the resolution, I am going to select the default size of 1920 by 1080. If I now left click on add to render queue, a warning window will display on screen informing you that the resolution settings applied to the timeline and for the render process are inconsistent. If you wish to proceed with the render process, go to add and start render. Now on screen you will see a preview of the same video clip with both the timeline and render resolutions the same at 1920 by 1080 and now on screen you can see a preview of the video which was exported with a timeline resolution of 192 by 108 exported from DaVinci with a render resolution of 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, the second video of Bobby is much smaller in terms of size and quality in comparison to the first video, with a lot of spatial redundancy in black surrounding the video frame, as the render resolution settings are far bigger than the video settings themselves. So always ensure that your render and timeline resolution settings are consistent. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the video and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.